Hey guys, up? So now I'm going to do a simple unboxing of the HJC Ebex 2.0. Okay, HJC actually gave me this box. I mean, not this box. They gave me the helmet. <laughs> so HJC gave me this helmet to do a review. And again, my review will be honest opinion. Uh, they have no say in what I say in the video. I don't send them a copy. They don't filter what I say. They allow me to do 100% honest review to all of you, which is very good. I think for all of us who are doing YouTubes and doing content reviews, right? It's very important that the review... Um, the, the product owners allow us to have the freedom of content which help us to just tell you what we honestly think about the product lah. so HGC Ebex comes in this white color box so I got the large size in army green okay. let me just show you the, the what's inside that comes inside the box lah. so obviously I took out the helmet ready to use it over the weekend I'm just gonna open it and show you what's inside the box okay so um, of course uh, let me put everything aside okay so inside this box okay tagline is for the moment oh well, i've said this many times hc is a very famous motorbike helmet uh, uh, they build really high-end performance bike helmets and for them to get into the cycling it's actually a very easy peasy for them uh, and they also have their wind tunnel so all the helmets are wind tunnel tested uh. okay so inside the box let's see what's inside the box put this away so inside the box it comes with Oh, it comes with extra padding, which is nice because um, not many helmets that I bought comes with extra padding. So that I feel is a big plus plus point for HJC. Thank you very much for providing us the extra padding because most of this padding, especially after you use for about three years, uh, and you wash it right, the the, the it start to peel. But because they give you extra padding, uh, at least now I know that the helmet I can use it longer. Uh. So it also comes with the top part of the helmet, which are extra padding. So this one is the uh, extra top pad for extra comfort as. Let me see what's inside. Yeah, there you go. So it comes with the Velcro, so you can just Velcro it to the top part of the helmet. Lah. So this comes in the box. I'll probably add this. Uh. But it doesn't come with it yet, lah. so I guess it's, it's, it's subjective whether you need it or not. Uh, but for me, the, the, the helmet uh, fits me quite nicely. Lah. It's not that to say it's painful at the top, so I probably won't use it. Lah. Right, save some weight. <laughs> oh, it comes with a nice bag. Oh, that's nice. It comes with a nice uh, uh, helmet bag. And what else does it come with? Let me see. It comes with the owner's manual. I think I should have read this before using the helmet. <laughs> oh my goodness. So HJC since 1971, mastering making, uh, mastering the making of helmets for riders. Well, I'm going to go straight to now the helmet. Look at it. It's the thing. It's, it's actually pretty nice design. Pretty nice. I got the army green. Don't ask me why. I just like green. I'm into green lately. Uh. So I tested this helmet already and I know, yes, I actually almost wanted to get the fuel run but I decided that for Malaysian cycling, uh, for our heat, it goes up to 40 degrees Celsius, I think I better be more practical. Uh. So just run through the helmet. Before you buy any helmet, I always suggest that you buy it after you test it with, a, with sunnies on. Uh, helmet is very important to make sure that it fits the sunglasses on so it's okay i'm gonna show you a video now on how i fit the sunglasses on uh, okay i didn't have sunglasses now but i'll probably show you in a later video so it fits the sunglasses right here nicely okay that's number one and when i noticed that this hgc when you fit the sunglasses in uh, it actually fits pretty snug and it's quite solid it's not going to go anywhere that's a big plus because uh, i've used some helmets before where, where i put my oakley there and just flew off <laughs> and there goes my 800 ringgit Oakley and I lost it and disappeared so yeah make sure when you buy a helmet bring your sunglasses along to test it as well that's very important for me uh, and also what I noticed about this helmet if you look inside right so this helmet is, is about let me see it's written here this large and it is about 245 gram uh. this helmet has 16 vents that really brings in the airflow into your, your head like, to really uh, blow in cool air and let the hot air escape this helmet right comes with an auto adjustable uh, band here see can you see yeah so this part here there's no boa or whatever it's just a, a, a spring so one thing good about this spring is this um, once you get your fitting right, uh, which there are five points here which you need to adjust so I actually put this to the so let me show you how I op actually open the point uh. okay so if you look at here I can just snip it off all right you see the five points there yeah so I put mine in the middle point so once I put it mine in the middle point it's it's good to go already so one thing good about this uh, springy thing here right which is supposed to be called the self fit uh, is once you put on the helmet and you fit out nicely no matter how you move the head 
if you look up, look down, right, your neck tends, your neck part here tends to expand. So this one also expands together with your helmet. So so cool path, ah. It's a new technology replacing the inner padding. So if you notice here, the cool path, basically this plastic thing here, right? They don't put padding here because they want airflow to smooth through from the top to the bottom so that it's smooth like the air. It's of all of their products are aerodynamically designed. That's for sure. This Venturi dynamic means right because of the airflow here it's gonna suck in more suck in more air right it's gonna suck all the air from inside to pull it out so it's gonna create more cool air circulating within your head uh. and when i was cycling last week i do feel that uh, my my head did not feel hot at all i feel burning in my in my body or my legs but my head was cool because, uh, with this helmet uh. so that helps out uh. of course uh hjc coming from biking industry and helmet safety i think they are second to none uh. they have an in mode construction um bonding everything together for greater structural strength and they also have a re internal reinforced structure uh integrated into the eps which is the skeletal frame and not only holds the helmet in one piece but also make it stronger and resistant for, to protect your head uh, during impact uh, definitely so okay that's the key spec of the helmet generally for me i feel my review is this helmet is okay um i like overall design it does make me automatically handsome that's for sure um I feel that I need to push this all the way down because even though at large I feel this hel helmet is a bit big for me. See, I can literally cover my eyes, but I need to I need to adjust it in a way that it still fits and I still can see my eyebrow. <laughs> uh, one thing I noticed also about this helmet is uh, there is a slight discomfort at the front part of the area. So this helmet, if you like it, I suggest you go try it first before buying it. And once you try it, it fits your head, then it's perfect for you. But only felt some slight very marginal like this discomfort at my front part of the forehead here because the sponge seems to be pressing my head even though i've adjusted even though i've adjusted the helmet in various sizes but overall i like this helmet uh, would i recommend you buying it i would say try it before buying it if you like the shape if you like the design try it if it fits your head get it overall for me uh, the comfort during long rides and hot rides is, is it, i don't feel any heat spots in my head even though this part is pressing my forehead right i don't feel that the pressure is is pain enough for me to be annoyed during the ride lah. but it's good that you try it out as well lah. so what i did was i actually removed the sponge here and i lowered it a bit so that uh, it protects me from hitting the the helmet itself uh, the forehead so uh, this helmet overall i like the design uh, it's relatively light the airflow is uh, pretty decent um, and also i find that the, this auto fit thing works because i don't need to do any ball i'll just put it on Oh, don't forget, it comes with the micro antibacterial uh, fabric. Uh, so, you know, all this anti antimicro bacterial fabric helps in preventing all the smelly sweat uh, from coming in. So, all this is good. Uh. So, I recommend you trying this helmet before purchasing it. As, as all my things is all personal opinion, try it before you buy it. Um, again, I'm trying to make my YouTube to create more personal opinion rather than doing hardcore sales. Um, else than that, pros of this helmet honestly speaking i think this helmet looks good uh some people gave me the comment that this helmet looks nicer the quality the finishing the logo printing everything feels good so that's it for the review for the hcc uh, ibex 2.0 is cooling it's light enough i don't feel any discomfort during long rides and go try it and check it out so that's all today for today's video take care you guys god bless and i hope to see you on the road real soon take care